Eddie was a talker. He was sitting in the Binghamton, New York bus station drinking a King Cobra 40 ounce bottle of malt liquor. He had an hour to wait for the bus to Albany and was trying to chat it up with the young woman on the bench. She was not interested in having a bit of chat. She curtly responded to his inquiries and took out a book. Eddie was not daunted by the book. He leaned forward in his seat and tried to catch her eyes between the edge of one page and the start of the next. I was as well waiting for the bus to Albany, using the one-hour layover in Binghamton to change guitar strings. Attempting to break some of the tension in the waiting room, I asked Eddie where he was heading. He shot back, What do you want, Billy Joel? A smile came to the woman's face. I feared for my guitar. Luckily, a potentially hostile moment turned friendly when Eddie realized I was actually going to listen to him. Then, of course, as all good drunks do, Eddie wanted to sing. Play some blues, he smiled. And I did, starting with the classic chunk a chunk a chunk a chunk a chunk a chunk. No, 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 he cried. Uh, uh, I need something sad, something twangy. Finally, I stumbled across something between bad to the bone and smoke on the water. Hearing this, his malt liquor breath howled in happiness. Yes, yeah, yes, that's it. The power of delusion came over the man and Eddie was Eddie at the Greyhound station no more. He was on stage and the stage was large. He closed his eyes, got to his feet, swayed, and sang for everyone to hear. It was the real blues. A hundred wannabe stars at open mics and blues jams couldn't compete with what Eddie had. He was waiting for the dirty dog to take him to Albany, where his friends had refused to pick him up. He'd just been laid off his mobile home fabrication job. He was drunk on malt liquor and it was 10.30 in the morning. In the bus station! I got no ride! He bellowed. I'm drunk! Girl won't talk to me! Says she's married! Has someone to carry her bags! I'm drunk! He sang for the sold-out audience. He was a happy man. He solicited two different feels from me on guitar. A happy blues and, of course, something funky. Again and again, he sang his story. It was nearly musical. I asked him if he had a friend who played guitar. I ain't got nothing. I believed him. As the bus pulled in for Albany, the cops pulled in for Eddie. I got on the bus and made my way to Middlebury, Vermont. Eddie, if he had kept his mouth shut, could have sobered up and caught the next bus. But Eddie was a talker.